Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with James. I'm your host, James. Uh, today we're going to be doing um, something I've never done before. It's a, it's a T-bone steak, but I brined it in salt for 96 hours and it actually was kind of an accident. And so I just thought I'd roll with it. I you know, wanted to cook it originally. The day I seasoned it and put it in the fridge, it was just salt. Um, a nice thick coat on both sides of some kosher salt. And uh, it's been 96 hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna reverse sear it on the Weber kettle. Let me kind of show you what the steak looks like, and then we'll get out to the Weber kettle. Okay, this is what we got. We got a T-bone steak, and um, it's been sitting in the fridge for 96 hours. All I did, I just used some kosher salt and a pretty thick coat. I mean, across the whole front, the, the top and the bottom, and it's been sitting in the fridge wrapped. Um, I just had some. Um, some plastic, some saran wrap and, and wrapped it. It's been sitting in the fridge for 96 hours. So we're gonna go out to the Weber kettle and reverse sear this, see how it turns out. Let's go out to the Weber kettle. Okay, here's our setup on the Weber kettle. Um, I just had the vortex. I got about a quarter to maybe a third of a chimney of briquettes in here, not much. Added about you know five or six lit coals over here. Got some uh, hickory little small wood chips in here just for a little bit of smoke and it's gonna burn slowly from here over there. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the top and we're gonna get this thing to right around 250 degrees. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, we have our steak here. The, oh, the only thing that I did to it is just add, it's just pepper, that's it. That salt brine, that 96 hours salt brine, I just added some pepper, that's it. And we're gonna go ahead and put it right back here and uh, that's it. That's the setup. I'm gonna go ahead and close the top on this and then uh, we'll check you. Well, actually, I gotta put this other probe in. Stick it over here. So I got my probe in over here. And the internal temperature of the steak is uh, well, 42 degrees. So yeah, we're looking good. We're gonna go ahead and close the top on this in probably, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, but once this steak reaches between 100 and 110, we're gonna sear it and finish it off. Ooh, that wood's catching. Let's go ahead and get this top on. All right, guys, we've been rocking steadily between uh, 230 and 235 for the, about the past 40 minutes or so. The internal temperature of the steak, as you can see, is 111. So let's go ahead and take the top off and sear it off. Okay, it's only been about a little less than a minute and the coals are already super hot. And uh, let's go ahead and sear this thing off. We're gonna give this about one to two minutes. Let's see how long it takes. All right, it's been about one minute. Let's flip it and take a look. All right, looking good to me. Let's see that other side. All right, now it's been a minute on the other side. Um, let's take a look at the other side. Looking good. Let's go ahead and set it back off the side. And we're gonna take a temperature and be right back. Okay, the temperature of the steak was uh, one between 122 and 125. So I'm gonna just go ahead and sear it for another maybe 30 seconds on each side. All right, 30 seconds on that side and 30 seconds on that side. Okay, it's been 30 seconds on each side. Let's pull this thing off. Okay, we're finished with the cook, and I gotta say, so the, the 96 hour salt brine, um, it was good, um, it was good. Actually, that salt did actually penetrate all the way into the middle of the steak, so 
Um, no, I don't know necessarily if you need 96 hours. It was kind of just a, a thing to try, but um, it was really good. I know 48 hours is probably all you need, but the salt brine was really good. And um, this is what we turned out right here on the T-bone. Um, looks really good, and, and it is, and it is really, really good. And I wish I wouldn't have did the last 30 seconds on each side, because I brought the temperature up to about 105. 40-ish, 140, 145, which is a little too much for what I like, but you know what, it, it don't matter. My wife loves it, so she'll eat that. I would have pulled it in about 130, let it rest, but um, the salt was really good, absolutely. So I just wanna say, uh, you know, thanks everybody. If you're new to the channel, um, you know, please subscribe. If you like the content, make sure to check the iCard for other videos um, and recipes and stuff. There'll be some other videos popping up, you know, over here somewhere as well. I am going to enjoy the rest of the steak with some probably some broccoli, cheese kind of stuff, maybe a potato or something. I don't know yet. But anyway, I just want to say thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next cook.